Welcome YouTubers to another video. So today we're going to be reviewing uh, Premium Collectibles Studios, I believe, PCS Ghostface. One third scale statue in all its glory. It finally has arrived. Uh, extremely happy to finally have it. And it was the final piece in the puzzle for this entire whore wall. Now I may add PCS Blade one third in the future. Most likely I will. Uh, you know, I've still considered the ECC zombie bust, the unkillable. It's really cool for sure. So, but Ghostface was a quintessential piece for me. I was a huge fan of Scream growing up. Absolutely loved it. Super, super cool. I did have that Ghostface life-size bust. However, that was so extremely cheap. Like, so cheap. The moment I got that, I felt like even just the box size, I was like, I regret this. Uh, you know, it was just cheap in every possible way. Now, PCS came out with this bad boy. I believe they first showed it off at WonderCon. And yeah, it, it blew my mind the moment I saw it. I was like, I love that. The concept is amazing. So freaking cool. So I'm super happy to finally have it because I love the movies. The newest movie coming out comes out in like a few weeks. So definitely excited to go see that. I loved the last one with Jenna Ortega. It was an amazing movie. Big, big fan. I'm actually going to watch it today, but here he is. So first things first, let's go ahead and get measurements out. So to the top of this door wall is 30 and a half inches. Now let's measure Ghostface, and we'll measure him in comparison to other one-thirds, because he does seem to be a little bit on the smaller side. I don't know the Ghostface actor's actual height, but I do know they were teenagers, so not quite as tall as like a full-grown adult just yet. Okay, so Ghostface is leaning slightly, you know, like he's stepping forward, so he's not standing up completely. But from the bottom of this shoe to the top of this knife, or if you want to include the top of that, which is kind of the same height, it's about two feet. Which is the exact same size as Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger is two feet tall. Ash is like 25. You know, Ash is definitely like a on the bigger side. Because Prime 1 does do bigger one-thirds. Uh, you know, obviously Leatherface and Myers are bigger. They're bigger characters in general. Like, all these characters are actually quite big. I believe Ash was a big guy in general. So Ghostface is definitely the smallest of them. However, it does not bug me at all the size. I still think it fits and looks really good, knowing it's just some high school teenagers. Uh, and in general, in all the movies, it's always just like teenagers, so they're not super, super big. But, you know, concept-wise, I do love it. You know, coming out of the house, you know, you have this nice round base where they have, you know, like these rocks, uh, you know, like any typical house. I don't know what this is called, like a patio or whatever. On the inside is like a hardwood floor. Then you have this nice big white door with, you know, everything that a door has. You know, you got all these, the door opening, you have the doorknob, it even has a lock on the inside like all the old school ones do. You have this glass. It's not real glass or anything. It's just like a translucent resin maybe. I don't know. I don't know the exact material. Maybe PVC. But it looks really good. It definitely looks really good. So overall, I do like the base quite a bit. Now on the back... This thing's really heavy, by the way. You have this, which holds the lamp thing. There's not a ton to see. It's really just the white curtains. So everything you want to see is here on the front. But these curtains are posable. So I kind of posed it, uh, you know, because he's jumping. He's going through it. So you would think the curtains would go through the broken door. So I have this one folding off to the side. This one folding up and a little to the side. But I think overall it looks really good. And it definitely has a better door effect and overall base than Leatherface. You know, the thing about Leatherface, I wish it had like a base that would hold the entire thing, you know, not just him on the stairs and then it's like empty. And it also needs the back wall. I don't like it being empty. Now there's a custom out there that I will be purchasing where it has like all the skulls and I think it will, you know, improve it quite a bit, but I'm definitely getting that. But Ghostface doesn't have that issue. He is complete and everything looks really good. I also love the fact I have three walls in a row. I think that looks really cool. It matches very well. Uh, so yeah, overall the base is big. It's heavy and I like it a lot. It's not super like deep, but obviously it's quite tall. You get this voice changer, which you can display anywhere. There's an on off. 
and then robot. So yeah, really cool uh, feature. I'm just gonna have that on the base, just like that. I, uh, so I think that looks really good. Now, Ghostface himself is quite heavy. He's much heavier than I anticipated, actually. You know, he's definitely as heavy as, like, Leatherface, for example. So, he's fully sculpted underneath everything, which is nice. So, PCS did not cheap out and just do, like, a mannequin PVC-type body-type thing or anything like that. They went all out. They fully sculpted everything. So, you got, like, real jeans, real shoes, real hands underneath this. There's, like, a real black shirt underneath so everything is fully sculpted and very high quality. So I'm definitely very pleased with the way they did the ghost face. Now the actual material itself, it's thick. It definitely has that shiny look. You can see it right there, you know, and it has that like cut look, which is how it was in the movie. There's this giant string and you more or less pose this kind of like how you want uh, I'm kind of doing it like that, which I think looks really good. The mask looks great. You know, it looks just like that mask. It's a resin mask. It's not, you know, like a, that material. Like, that's the actual, like, Halloween mask. Uh, this is resin, but it looks really good. You know, and this is the bloody exclusive, along with the bloody exclusive knife, which, as far as I can tell, it felt like real metal. I haven't tested, like, a magnet, but it looks really well done, and it felt like metal and it is sharp. I love the pose of Ghostface. I think it's freaking perfect. It is kind of similar to Leatherface in, in sense they're both like walking forward, arm up, arm up. Similar, not the exact same, but very, very similar. But you can just see, you know, like these are the three PCS horror one thirds. Now, of course, that is not a technical one third, but Pumpkin Head definitely scales with one thirds. But yeah, this is like the three PCS things. Now, the one thing they have stopped doing, which I still wish they would include, are these little certificate of authenticities. They stopped doing that for some reason. Not sure why, but I really wanted to get one for Ghostface and Leatherface. I may even custom make some because I did want to get it. However, based off this, even if I get one, unless I put it in the front, it'll be blocked anyways. So I probably won't do it. But overall, you know, I'm quite happy with the material they used. I feel like everything's pretty high quality. Like, these are nice and thick and posable. You can really pose this how you want. Uh, so, I think it looks really good. You know, like, I these ones I kind of posed sort of like that. And then having one up and one down. You know, because his arm's going fast. So, and these ones are posing a little to the left. But, yeah, overall, it's definitely a really solid piece. Uh, it was a little bit more complicated than I anticipated in setting it up. But, you know, once you get the door, it's not difficult. Overall, I do love it quite a bit, though. I think this is really freaking cool. And I would say I do like it more than Leatherface. It was cheaper than Leatherface. Leatherface was, I think, like 120 bucks more or something like that. Not sure why, honestly. I mean, obviously, his portrait is more complicated. You know, this being just that this is more complicated but i mean that i mean they're both extremely well done this one i did add a little skull in the base as you can see let's check out what you get on the regular because this is the exclusive which as of the recording of this video is low stock if you're looking to buy it use the link below you can only get the exclusive at sideshow.com all right so here's like a side by side of the bloody knife versus the normal knife so yeah, you can see the difference between the two. I think the blood effect is really well done. It looks really good. It's glossy. And the entire thing kind of like has like a red coat almost. You know, like it's red right here. And then it's really obviously bloody and red right here. Where this one's just all silver. So it's like a fresh clean knife. And I do know in general, they did like clean the knife after they would use it. You know, they'd like wipe it. And so this is kind of the regular look, which also does look really good, no doubt. I mean, for my collection, I've kind of gone for the extreme whore, bloody, everything I can do to make it as just gruesome as possible. I mean, goodness, look at this, how gruesome that is. You know, and I'm probably going to switch Ash back down to the Deadite head as well. But I do like this look in general. I, I will say uh, the regular is definitely very good. So let's say you're from, 
a foreign country and shipping and custom fees are stupid expensive and you're just like, you know what, I don't want to have to pay 500 extra dollars to get that. I would just get the regular. You're still getting an absolutely amazing statue. And this is not part of the exclusive. Only these two are. And you can actually even bloody up that knife if you wanted to. You know, I did that with my Myers. I added that blood. I added that all this because I didn't get the exclusive, unfortunately. I wish I did, but I made my own exclusive. And you could obviously bloody up the mask. I would not. I would bloody up the knife, but not the mask. You know, and you, obviously you can mix and match if you want to do the bloody, but uh, but not the bloody mask. You can obviously do that as well. It's very easy to do the swap outs. I do think the magnets could be a tad stronger. They're not as strong as I would like. Uh, but, you know, I don't think they're going to fall down or anything. But, yeah, I mean, that looks really good as well. Just the bloody, you know, and then the mask is normal. But, again, here is an overall view. Overall, I am extremely happy with how this turned out, though. I think it's amazing. Uh, definitely a very cool statue, and I'm very happy to own it. So big thanks to PCS for making this, because it was definitely, for me, when growing up as a kid, Scream was one of my more favorite horror movies. You know, it's like growing up, it was like Freddy, Jason, Ghostface, Leatherface, Myers. Those are like my big ones. And I loved, of course, Ash, Army of Darkness was one of my favorites. So I'm definitely extremely happy to have this. Well worth the money for me. It definitely is a high quality statue. It does not feel cheap. The material, the sculpt underneath, the base, it's extremely heavy statue. The box was 65 pounds. So definitely very high quality. And I have absolutely no complaints. Like none. You know, Leatherface, I had a complaint about the hair. And I think the face maybe had a tad downgrade from the prototype. Like a tad, not a lot. You know, like the Proto was 10 out of 10. That's like a 8.5 or 9 out of 10. But this looks just like the Proto, you know, because there wasn't like a detailed skin that they had to paint. You know, it was just a simple mask that's white and black, a black costume. But the material definitely is high quality. They did not cheap out on material. And the sculpted parts, like under the pants, like the pant area, is very well done. It looks like real jeans. So overall, I'm extremely happy. For what I paid and got, I'm, I'm a very happy person. I... Now give this a solid 10 out of 10, honestly, for what it is. For what they advertise and what I got and how happy I am, I'm 10 out of 10 happy with this. So definitely very, very happy. Uh, you know, it's so quintessential to my horror collection. It looks really good. So there you have it, though, folks. Let me know what you guys think of PCS Ghostface. Not much more to go over, uh, but... Yeah, the only other thing you could throw on this is maybe like a one-third telephone uh, next to the voice coder. I think that could look cool. I don't even remember. Did they even have cell phones back in the movie? Uh, but yeah, I guess you could throw like a cell phone. I know there are some other things people were thinking of that could look really good with this piece as like something you could just throw on the base. But I believe due to licensing, they couldn't do a telephone. But there's some other things you might be able to throw in the base if you wanted to, but I don't think it's really necessary. I think as is, it's a really awesome statue. Anyways, folks, that is it for today's video. Let me know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next unboxing review, which should be a few days from now. Uh, but again, if you're looking to buy this statue, please use the links below as it does help the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.